This tall, good-looking young actor made his first appearance in New York. He made quite an impression. He's still tearing up the town in Universal's own King Kong. Late word just in. The path of destruction continues east, causing thousands to flee their homes. Police admit that they are powerless to stop the enraged beast. Military units are rushing to the scene. The beast was last sighted near the 200 block of Old Fulton Avenue. We now go to live coverage on the scene with our helicopter reporter, Kelly King. Kelly. We're now hovering above the wreckage of a crushed L train. The helicopter beside us is searching for... Wait! There's a tram load of people down there. We've got to go down and warn them. Attention, people on the tram. You are in danger. seen as one of the most complex movie sets ever built. Its accomplishment required the creative efforts of Hollywood's top show designers and craftsmen. The challenge of this attraction was to design a show that would completely make the guests believe in the living presence of King Kong. The set design was the responsibility of Henry Bumstead, Academy Award winner for The Sting, and to kill a mockingbird. But first, a new soundstage had to be built to contain Kong and his large as life surrounding. At 26,000 square feet, it may be the largest in the world. Because of the visitor's proximity to the set, the New York street scene had to be recreated in lifelike detail. With the aid of an army of workers, a microcosm of New York City began to arise. Kong was to be based on real gorillas, but to have his own distinct personality. Tom Reisenbach was the architect of Kong's physical appearance. We didn't want to create just a big screaming gorilla, but we did want to show emotion. We wanted to be able to show uh, fear and curiosity and anger and fright. Films, photographs, and medical books were studied. Much time was spent at the zoo, observing gorilla characteristics. When he turns like this, the person sitting over here is going to see one thing, but what is this person over here going to see? He can't see a collapsing tendon, he can't see a jaw that all of a sudden juts out. It all has to work. Construction of King Kong began with the aid of a computer. The task of bringing the figure to life fell to an expert in audio animatronics. Bob Gurr. Computer allows us to have complete accuracy in making sure all of the parts are going to fit exactly. Five months of labor was required to build a three-story tall steel framework of Kong. But it isn't enough to have an actor based on correct gorilla anatomy. He had to behave like a gorilla. After the engineering drawings are made, we make this 112 size working model to demonstrate all of the motions of the figure. An exact duplicate of the finished attraction was also an essential element. This is a 124 scale model of the King Kong attraction, which we built so we can show the people who are constructing all the various parts, whether it be the elevated train car or the track or those facades beyond me here, exactly what we want in three dimensions. The other good thing about it is it helps us be able to get down there and look from the point of view of the audience exactly what the audience is going to see so we can design the show and really, really live the show right now before it's completely built. Meanwhile, safety tests were conducted on other aspects of the show, such as the fires caused by a rampaging King Kong. 
Once Kong's framework was complete, sculptors and art directors were assigned to flesh out the character and bring him to life. Six weeks were needed to sew and glue 660 pounds of fur to the massive frame. Preparations were made on the set to receive the first section of King Kong. 3,500 pounds of weight were needed to balance the new arrival. A short time later, the chest was firmly in place. From teeth to hair, no facial cosmetic detail was overlooked. Kong is so realistic that he performs only three to six feet away from tram guests. Finally, Kong was ready for his homecoming. We've been working over three years on King Kong, so this is a rather key day. All we've got to do is drive it six miles, one more trip on a crane, and it'll be installed on its final resting place, making King Kong a, a total being. The head was lowered into place, and all that remained after 11 years of research was to animate the giant figure. King Kong, which began as a one-foot-tall clay model, became the world's largest animated creature. He's capable of 29 separate computer-controlled functions. And he looks pretty scary, but he's really not a bad guy at all. He just wants to go home. <laughs>